everyone. Welcome to the first episode of my Let's Play of Baldur's Gate 3. This has been a game I've been super excited for. Uh, I think I remember first playing Baldur's Gate 2, like originally when it came out in 2000, so almost 20 years ago, or 20 years ago. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. We're going to jump in with a new game. And uh, I'll let the intro cinematic roll, and then we'll get into character creation. So with that pleasant intro out of the way, let's uh, get into character creation. So for those of you that don't know, Baldur's Gate 3 is based off the 5th edition rule set for Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, they currently don't have everything in the game here. Uh, from the player's handbook that is, I believe they're currently only missing gnomes and dragonborn. Uh, but they added Githyanki in, which is what the uh, woman in the other pod on the Mind Flayer ship was. Uh, but for origin here, character name, I'm going to go... Uh, Let's see, I think what would be a good character name. I think, so I'm going to definitely be playing a tiefling, so Maros probably fits that pretty well. <laughs> and then, uh, background-wise, I'm uh, probably going to go with Urchin. And I'm going to be playing a guy. And for tieflings, you get a, a few different types of tieflings. You have Ismodius, uh, Mephistopheles, and Zeriel. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so I'm going to be doing uh, Mephistopheles. Uh, so tieflings are basically humans that at some point, uh, had, uh, devil blood in their, uh, bloodline. Uh, so in this case it would be from the Mephistopheles, uh, bloodline. And appearance wise, let's see, let's start looking at this. What's his voice sound like? That's, Something just woke up down here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's do the heads. Uh, I like number two the best. And then horns. I want to go with like satyry like horns. Uh, yeah, this one's good. Skin tone wise. Somewhere along this like darker end of the like deeper blue spectrum looks pretty good. And then eyes. Uh, I really, so you can do like two different options for tieflings. You have like normal like human eyes. But I really like the demonic style of eyes. I think I'm probably going to go with Demonic Green there. Uh, let's look at the hair. Definitely want like a longer hair option. Ooh. Nah. No, this works. Kind of gives me like legless vibes a little bit. Uh, definitely no beard. Then just want to go with black hair. And then tattoos. I've already looked at some of the tattoos in the game, and I really like this one here. It looks like little flowers coming up the neck. Make that blue. Yeah, no makeup. Uh, Class-wise, I'm going to be playing a warlock. Uh, so, I, I don't know. Warlocks just kind of fit tieflings to me. Uh, tieflings are already, like, bound to devils, and then warlocks, in addition, make a pact with a um, some sort of patron. 
in this case, I'm going to go with the Great Old One. Uh, cantrips wise, I'm mean, definitely be keeping Eldritch Blast, uh, just like the bread and butter for Tiefling, or um, for Warlocks. And then probably use Friends, because I want to make uh, this character like the face of my party. And spells wise, I'm going to get rid of Tasha's Hideous Laughter. I'm going to keep Dissonant Whispers, but then throw Hex on. So that's going to uh, boost my damage output per turn. Uh, additional things you get here. Uh, so we have Wisdom and Christmas Saving Throw Proficiencies, as well as Light Armor, Simple Armor, Weapon Proficiencies, and then we get the Warlock spell slots. A um, little different than other spellcasters in that we recharge our spell slots on short rests instead of long rests, and then we always cast our spells at the highest level that we know. So at level 1, that's going to be level 1. Uh, skills, I'm going to be keeping Arcana and Intimidation, and then in addition, I'm getting a Sleight of Hand and Stealth from the Urchin background. And then Abilities, what I'm going to be doing is dumping intelligence down a little bit as well as wisdom keep charisma at 17 but then i want my uh dexterity to be at 15 my constitution to be at 14. so this is going to help with my armor class and then when we get to level four i can boost the dexterity and charisma to 16 and 18 respectively uh let's just double check everything i think that's all good uh we got the urchin background maris is our name we got the uh, mephistoles tiefling uh, or yep this is all good. Let's venture forth. So now we have to pick like someone that we're attracted to. So I'm definitely going to go back into Tiefling. I'm not going to spend as much time on this. Uh, I'm just going to change her hair color to black. Oh, no, that's her eyes. Here we go. Hair color to black and then eyes. I want to give her like demonic purple. Yeah, there we go. And then, uh, yeah, we'll venture forth and we have another cutscene to get through here.
And uh, with that, we are in Avernus. So Avernus is, I believe it's the first layer of the Nine Hells uh, in the Forgotten Realms universe, where there's a never-ending war between um, the devils and demons. And looks like we got broken out of our pod here. We're currently on the Nautiloid ship. Uh, so let's take a look around, see what we can find. Uh, if you hold down Alt, it'll show you things that you can loot in the game. So we're going to come around here to this mind flare, see what he's got. Potion of speed and a caustic bulb. Okay. Pretty good. Uh, these little things here let us uh, heal up while we're inside the Nautiloid ship. Okay, we got a few dead imps up here. Let me check them out. No healing potion and a scroll of firebolt. Definitely sounds like there's someone in here with me. We got these little manuscript things. So I'm wondering if that actually gives us like a mechanical benefit there. That does remind me. So those, uh, the people that were on the dragons, uh, chasing the Nautiloid, uh, through what I believe is Baldur's Gate and then the other areas it teleported to, um, were Githanki. So they, I believe the Githanki made a pact with like Tiamat, who's the goddess of chromatic dragons. And, uh, so that's why they were, like, riding dragons and stuff. And they're also constantly in war with, uh, the Mind Flayers. So we have this chest here. Another Caustic Bulb. I'll take that. Uh, looks like we have a, a guy in the middle of brain surgery here on the table. Uh, a little weird. Yes, you've come to save us from this place. From this place, you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please. So anytime we have a, a check, it's gonna pop up up here, and then sometimes it'll be dice that roll in the middle of the screen. So let's see. Who am I talking to? A man or a brain? See there, we failed that Arcana check. Uh, you sound afraid. Why? So many enemies. Guess it's talking about all the imps. I think you're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. Remove us from this body, from this case. Free us, please. Uh, let's inspect the brain. So this is going to be an investigation check. Let me get the dice that'll pop up here. Uh, this is a little different than how, uh, at least I would have done it, but, uh, what they do is they set the base target and then any modifiers you have subtract from the target. So here we don't have any, uh, modifiers that'll help us, so it's just gonna be at a base of 10. But we got 13, so we're still good to go. You notice edema, a swelling of the brain causing pressure where it strains against the shell of the skull. Please, before they return, they return. So we can break the skull open, gently uh, pry it from the skull, or attempt a cerebral extraction. Uh, so here you can see we have a minus one because our wisdom is nine. Uh, but we have advantage on it. Uh, advantage, you just use the highest roll from uh, two of the rolls. But we get a plus two from the decks. So let's try this. Okay, so yeah, so an eight. Yeah, there we go. Easy. Just gonna reach our hands in there. It's a little... Definitely very sanitary. The brain lifts from the skull, but you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient should it prove a threat. Okay, so we could spare the creature. It is already injured. Or we could try to mutilate it. 
So we're getting a plus two. I say we try to mutilate it. Might as well, just in case it tries to turn on us. Okay, so 13, so the base target was 15. That is unfortunate. I don't think the uh, the brain here is going to uh, particularly care for that too much. Let's, let's see how he reacts. Nope, he's he's definitely not happy. Pretty sure we're gonna have to kill this guy. Yep, okay, so we got the combat tutorial here. So it's just a uh, turn-based combat up on the top left. We've got the turn order. Uh, down here we got a list of actions we can do throughout the entire action bar. Um, these light blue ones are bonus actions. And then this yellow bar shows us our, how much movement we have left. And then here we've got our health. So I'm on top of this guy and I don't want to be. So I'm gonna use the jump disengage action and get over here. And then use Eldritch Blast. So 95% chance to hit. And of course we missed. A good way to start the let's play. Uh, I'm gonna move further away from him and then end the turn. Okay, thankfully he missed too. So I'm gonna jump away again since you have a lower chance to hit if you're close to someone, like within their melee range, if you're using a ranged attack. There we go. Okay, so eight points of damage to him. He still has three health left. So let's get moving over here. Okay, and we're just going to rinse and repeat. Jump out of the way. Move a little bit. And hopefully this takes him down. There we go. Oh, ah, one health left, one health. Um, nothing else we can really do here. So let's hope he misses us when he comes in. Cool. <laughs> Okay, he one shot me there. That's great. Wow, he I guess cuz what? They have a 2d4 base there. Okay, well, let's uh let's go through that again. Uh I'm just kind of kind of speed up through that point. We'll go through the dialogue pretty quickly too. So you guys don't have to sit through that again. But maybe we'll uh Succeed the dexterity check this time. It'd be kind of nice. I believe that first imp didn't have anything on him. Uh, let's read these again just in case they do provide a benefit. Just get that out of the way. Get back on the elevator. Okay, let's just uh, breeze through this. Who am I talking to? Oh, and there we so that was time we got the Arcana um, uh, check success. So this is an intellect of hour. Past the point of saving, we're going to investigate the brain again. Okay, so that time we failed that check. Uh, so let's try to pry it from the skull. Oh. Not sure what's going to happen here with that failed check. Might actually just kill it. The brain won't budge. What can we do now? I guess we can destroy or leave it. Let's just destroy it. Don't want this thing coming back to bite me. A little bit of revenge for the early, uh, earlier TPK. Okay, a little unfortunate there, but that's fine, that's fine, we're recovered, we're good. Let's get back down on the elevator and uh, head outside, see what's going on. Okay. Oh, there goes uh, some uh, Gethanky on our dragon being chased by some imps. As we cruise over the nine hells here, look at that. I'm pretty sure that's like a river of blood down there. All right, so we're at the jump. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, and we've got a Lazel up here, I believe. I believe that's the Githanki that was with us at the start during the cinematic. Abomination, man. Tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing. A silver sword. And a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. So it looks like the tadpoles are kind of linking us together here. What is this? You are my soul. Blacketh blesses me this day. I really like her armor here. Transform, what do you what do you mean? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days we will be gay. Mind flayers. We're turning into mind flayers? There's gotta be something we can do. Nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. Okay, if you say so. And uh who are you exactly? Well, I guess she doesn't have that much faith in us. So is the helm our way out of here? Gain control of the guard. Shit. Once in command, we will deal with our gay captains. Okay, then let's go. We exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. The material plane is um Basically just like the main world, like Earth, kind of. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh, and we've gone back into combat. Let's cancel this tutorial real quick. Okay, the enemy's surprised here, so we should have some bonuses on the attacks to them. We've got an imp here, imp here, and an imp in the back. I'm going to focus on the lower imp. Yeah, so 95% chance. Oh, there we go. Much better way to start combat out than the previous encounter. All right, so she has both a melee and ranged weapon. Uh, looks like... If the smoke would get out of the way. Yeah, it looks like she's got a great sword. And then, I'm guessing like a short bow or a long bow. Can she reach this? Yeah, but only 72%. Still hit for three. And we had the lower chance there because of low ground, which is something that is not in the uh, base D&D rule set. So, I'm going to move over here. I'll just blast again. Okay, the imps still haven't had a chance to come at us because we did catch them on guard. Uh, don't think I'm actually going to be able to hit him, though, with the range attack. Yeah, because the pass interrupted, so we're just going to have to let him come around. He'll probably take a plank at us with his crossbow. He did not. Okay, only four points of damage there. Let's get our great sword out and hopefully cleave this guy. Perfect. Okay, Lazelle, I believe, is her name. Let's check. Character sheet. Yep, Lizelle. Okay, let's get uh let's loot some of these guys real quick. See if they've got anything worthwhile on them. I wonder what this is like a pile of. This looks like a bunch of like purple canister things. Ooh. A scroll of a mage armor, it's gonna be pretty useful. Okay, we got a dead mind flayer here. A skull, cool. Uh, anything else? Oh, we got a poison one over here in the fire. A void bulb and spike bulb. Doesn't look like there's anything else of use down here. Yeah, okay, let's go up the stairs. That looks like we got a bunch of NPCs up here. Yankee coming to the rescue, maybe? Or, yep, no, nope, probably just gonna wreck the ship. Okay, let's 
let's, let's talk to this guy over here. A baker. I think he's uh, pretty confused. Okay, well, I don't think I want to leave him alive. I'd rather kind of mercy kill him here. What did we commence battle with? Oh, there's a whole group of people upstairs. Uh, okay. Path is interrupted for all of those. So I'm just going to bone, or not bonus action. I'm going to use my action to dash and get a little higher up. That unfortunately does use my attack, but these guys I think are going to have to come the whole way around. Oh, and there's an intellect devour. Okay, cool. So I doubt she's also going to be able to... Oh no, she can potentially get a hit off? Okay, two damage, not bad. Okay, let's get up here. There we go. Oh, and there's two imps. I wonder if they would... No, I was wondering if they were going to fight each other. It looks like they're just coming for me. Oh, okay. No, they will fight each other. Perfect. Thank you, Mr. Imp. Okay, let's bring her up here and we will shoot this guy. Okay, perfect. I just had the imps to deal with, so I think I'm actually going to hex this guy. Uh, and this is a bonus action? Yeah, okay. Uh, so when you hex, you get to pick a ability to weaken on them. So I'm just going to weaken dexterity. And then I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast. There we go. So uh, you can see here, the hex also gives us um, extra damage here. So it's an additional D6 of damage that we can use. And I'm going to back up. And that spell is going to stay on him for a while. Uh, or until he's dead, basically. And then I believe I can use a bonus action to uh, move the spell to a different character. Okay, let's just swipe him with the greatsword. Oh, that is unfortunate. Okay, and uh, my main character's down again. Uh, okay, let's get this off and then deal with the imp. Let's see, did I... I failed the death saving throw, so you get uh, three failures or three successes. Uh, failures lead to death, and then you can use uh, these revivication scrolls. Um... Didn't get to see what that was. A success. Okay, cool. Oh, and she critted him. Now I am going to enter back into a uh, turn based mode here. Okay, never mind. I guess I can't. And I'll just use the help action to. No, what do you mean? Oh my goodness. What is going on? <laughs> okay. I. I got the help action off, but that's fine. I am uh, not doing that well right now. All right, let's, we're just gonna breeze through all this stuff again. Just skip through the dialogue. Okay, cool, let's go. The third time we've done the combat tutorial. Cool. Those intellect devourers are just getting huge hits on me. Okay, that's unfortunate that we didn't. Okay, four damage there. I'm not really going to waste any healing potions because we have so many of these restoration chamber things up here. Can she actually get in the melee range? 
I think she can. Yeah. And she misses, of course. Okay, but he missed too, so that's fine. And let's hopefully blast this guy out of the way. Right, perfect. Okay, let's just grab the loot that we were missing from before. Uh, let's see, I think this guy had a scroll on him. Sorry about all the delays here. <laughs> this is a little ridiculous. I was hoping to be a lot further than this because I want to get the entire tutorial mission out of the way in the first episode. So this is probably going to be a little bit of a longer episode. Uh, but it will stick to a half hour format after that. Skip through the cinematic again. Okay, cool. Let's do the conversation with this guy. See... I don't understand that really. Oh, okay. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, now combat has started again. Okay, and he's coming down here. So I... Do we have... No, we just have the mage hand. Okay. Fortunate miss there. See you... <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Let's just use the help action and get him up off the ground. Looks like they're like almost exclusively focusing me here. Which I don't appreciate. Uh, I guess I'm out of action. Oh, I guess the standing up maybe? Nope, and here he comes again. Okay, I'm just gonna have to try to kill this guy. Oh my god. Please help him. Oh my god. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I, uh, I don't understand why they're targeting me so much. I mean, I have the lowest armor class of the group, so maybe that's how their AI is coded in. But... Hmm. If I can't get through that encounter again, I'll just uh, edit it out until I'm through the encounter. Okay, here we go. Third time's the charm, right? kind of wish this tutorial would stop popping up. Okay. Ah, how did the crit not? That's dumb. I think she, yep, yeah, she can get a melee range there. Okay, let's finish this encounter really quick, get the loot, and go try again. Actually, just gonna quick save here. We oh, don't have to deal with that again. Hopefully. Skip through the cinematic. Let's go talk to our baker friend. Okay. Save here. Kill him. Did I not? No, no. I did kill him. Okay. Oh, okay, so he caught himself on fire. That's nice. I am gonna back the fuck up. Not dealing with that again. Of course. Thankfully, they're like significantly worse in combat. Okay, this guy's gonna, I think, just kill himself before 
he even has a chance to do anything. Oh my god, what is going on? I'm actually going to jump out of the way here. What is happening? So many misses. Okay, and the intellect of hour is coming down. I could just stab him. Of course. Okay, definitely have to have her use her second win there to get the self healing in. The hex. No, 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 no. What the? F what are you doing? <laughs> that is not what I wanted you to do at all. Oh, Lord. Okay, you're going to move here and then second wind. That only healed you two points. Cool. Please don't. Okay, thank you. What? Well, okay. We'll just, uh, hex for dexterity again. There we go, finally. Let's hope this is a big Elder's Blast. It's a complete whiff. That is awesome. Okay, he shouldn't move. Okay, thank you. Where is he? Where is he going? Where is he, what is he doing? Just gonna get out of the way of him. Hope she can kill him. Finally. There we go. Okay, yeah. And now I have a reapply hex that I can use as a bonus action. So it's not going to use my uh, precious spell slot. Which is nice. Okay, let's quick save again. Uh, let's see if there's anything. Did I already check this body? Oh, Shorpo. That would actually be pretty good. Okay. Shorpo might. So that's a D6 plus two. So it's not going to actually be more than uh, the Elder's Blast is going to be. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to risk running through the fire. Okay. Those look like crafting materials there. All right, let's run back down and get the... Uh, restoration station real quick and then we'll go talk to this thrall oh I don't know if I actually checked you know feather okay let's talk to this thrall here what is she going on about I wonder if she also means imps by the bull because uh, the other guy was like talking about the red rats, which would be the imps. I wonder if this burnt thrall has anything of value on him. That's kind of cool. It's like bloody footprints. Oh, there we go. Candle. Oh, and I'm on fire. That's that'll, that'll be fine. I take partial damage from flames as a tiefling. We're good. We're good. It's just some imps up here. We got to kill. Uh, the devourers generally don't have anything on them. Nothing of value over here. Okay. Oh, it looks like the... Uh, so using the restoration station reset our hex, but we still have the... Uh, um, uh, we got the spell slot back, so that's good. You reach perfect. Okay, let's hit him with one more. Oh my, I'm missing so much. It's starting to feel like XCOM over here. Okay, there's another restoration station ahead, so we'll be fine in terms of uh, health before getting to the final encounter of the tutorial. Okay, one last thrall. Yeah, you most likely will. Here, I'll help you with that. Anything of value on his corpse? Short sword, gold, and mugwort. 
Uh, I don't think I've said it yet, but I am going to be playing an evil playthrough um, uh, for the early access here. Uh, Larian, the developers, have asked that people play more evil characters because people tend to not do that, so they'll have more data points uh, to look at when, I guess, developing the rest of the game. Let's break down this mucus membrane. And look, there we go. Restoration. It Touch nothing without knowing its purpose. So we got some buttons here. What is this? Okay, so failed that check. Guessing we're gonna fail. Oh, annihilate. What does this do? Ooh. Okay, so that just killed those thralls. And that appears to have done nothing. Some oil on him. And more quills. I got a lot of quills. Uh, looks like we got a person in here. We have no time for stragglers. Uh, let's look for a latch. The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? Hey, she might be able to help us here. We'll see what magic's at work. I'll have five. Hopefully I do well here. Okay. Warding runes. The pod won't open unless they're destroyed. Uh, let's try to disrupt them. I wonder why her pod was sealed, but ours is not. We need to go. Or ours was not. I'm sorry. You an elf? Half elf? Okay. Let's go see what's up in this door over here. Oh, we got a chest over here. Uh, it is locked, unfortunately, and I do not have lockpicking tools, so I'm not going to be able to get that bad boy open. You going to fight me? Nope. Okay. Maybe he thinks I'm, like, part of his group. Doesn't notice you. Let's go see if we can figure out what this console does. Okay. Apparently I succeeded, but it still could mean anything. Uh, one other thing I'm going to be doing for this Let's Play is uh, I'm going to be doing a full custom party. So normally you just play through with one character and then get all your companions like uh, Lazel here. But uh, what I end up doing before recording this, I went through and built an entire custom party. Um, just kind of cheesing how the multiplayer works to get four custom characters in. So when we start episode two, uh, I'll have a party of four and there'll be custom characters that I've made. Uh, still be able to do all the companion interactions. They act as if they were with you on all of the uh, missions, even if they're not there. Yeah, so unfortunately that button changed that woman into a mind flare. Let's see what this guy's got on him. Oh, he's got a key. Probably fits that chest. Can we actually see if there's... Oh, yeah, he's in there. Or her, I guess. Okay, let's go open that chest, and then uh, we are just a short ways away from the final encounter here in the end of the first episode. More little brain buddies running around. Let's get this chest unlocked. And we've got a... Was it an on it? Oh, worth 50 gold. That's not bad. Uh, we are full health. Okay. Let's go through this weird... Weird door. We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Yes, ma'am. Okay, here we go. Now let's see if I am the most targeted character again. Okay. 
Okay, looks like we got some devils up here fighting some mind flayers. Definitely just sucked that guy's brain out. Using brain magic. Do it. We will do you see how my look at the pupils of my eyes were like uh, breaking through my eyelids. Okay, so looks like we've got the mind flare plus the devil and then a few imps. Let's get her moving forward. Uh, three imps up here. Just gonna let's shoot this guy the furthest away. Or not furthest, but furthest to the right. So I guess we're just like pretending to work with the mind flare. Uh, let's get up here and then. Or do, or do we have high ground? If we're, and yeah, we'll just get the closest one. Hopefully, yeah. There we go. I'm oh, just gonna keep moving forward. We gotta get to the back of the ship before any reinforcements come. Uh, yeah, let's... Hopefully we can kill this guy. Oh, that is unfortunate. Can we, like, kind of skate around his range? Okay. That's a lot of damage on him. Alright, let's get further up this way. Hopefully we can one-shot this guy again. Or one-shot another. But there we go. Perfect. Keep moving up here. Unfortunately, don't think we'll have time to loot any of these guys, but I doubt they would have, like, super good stuff. Okay, cool. Let's get caught up here. Yes, yes, we are. Okay. Definitely don't want to get into combat with that... Uh, devil, he will destroy me. I'm not trying to. What are you? What are you doing? Get up there. Looks like she can move further than we can. Like she's catching up to us. Okay, little cutscene here. Get the mind flyers just standing there. Hurry before they strike. I wonder if Scott Skva is that me? Is that who she's referencing? Oh, hey, we do have some more targets, so let's get this closest imp. Ugh, that's unfortunate. Oh, he's got an axe. I am glad they're using fire, though, because I am resistant to uh, fire damage. Can I get in a... No. Get up here. We kill him with the... Oh, come on. Should just be able to make the jump from here. Move out this way. She should be able to take him out. So let's, let's hit this one in the back. Oh, I'm getting the low damage numbers. Come on. What are you doing? What? I, she was right next to you. This is ridiculous. I wonder if she could get a cleave off on me. Both of them. Hopefully, I don't think this hits me. Does not appear to. Okay, that's good. I'm just gonna jump over this guy. Yeah, let's jump over here. Oh, there we go. There's that big damage. Aren't the dragons your allies? Shouldn't they be helping us here? We are pretty low health. I just don't want to burn any of my health potions right now. Okay, it looks like we got two more guys came in. Yeah, oh, definitely don't want to deal with them. I'm just gonna... I kind of want to kill this imp first, if that's an option. Nah, I'm just going to get out of here. That's, 
less than ideal. The flames look a little weird there. Just gotta pluck the avatar looking mind bond thing and get out of here. Thing we caught that could have been quite cataclysmic there. I wonder how we knew which ones to connect. Like, we obviously don't have inner workings of this ship, so. But, uh, yeah, so after there's a cinematic that's going to roll here, uh, after that will be the end of this episode. And then, uh, episode two will be on the, uh, material plane with the full party and start exploring the world of Baldur's Gate 3. Assuming this load screen ever comes through. Uh, but yeah, so look, I think the upload schedule for this is going to be, um, two episodes a day uh, on average I'm going to try to keep them at about a half hour to 45 minutes long each uh, this one's running a little longer obviously because of all the missteps at the beginning um, but yeah we'll be doing Baldur's Gate 3 first and then I think I'm going to jump into Kingdoms of Amal or the Re-Reckoning and then Cyberpunk when that comes out well looks like we did get back to the material planes so that's pretty good oh a fellow tiefling hello and is that a hobgoblin? Yep, hobgoblin. And a drow. And a goblin. With a lot of armor. Little goblin hunting party. Ooh, some wargs. It's kind of cool. Looks like ship's going down. Mind Flare does not look too pleased with me right now. Ooh. Took a big hit to the head. Someone coming in clutch there. Looks like maybe Featherfall or something. Okay. And uh, that's the end of episode one. So just uh, want to thank everyone for checking it out. Uh, don't forget, if you want to see more of this, uh, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. It means a lot to me. Okay. I'll see you guys at the start of episode two.